Welcome back. Liz Powers joins us now on The Gist. She is the co-founder of Artlifting, which is a business that helps artists living with homelessness or disabilities to gain financial stability through the sale of their original artwork. Liz, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So tell us, how does Artlifting work? Yeah, so my job used to be an art therapist. And I realized there's about a thousand existing art groups that are in shelters or disability centers. So how art lifting works is we connect with all those existing groups, curate the top artwork, and then sell it in bulk as art prints or original art to corporations. So these, um, these artists actually get to keep some of their profits, which is so cool. Yeah, the artists get the majority of the profit. So artists get 55% of the profit from each sale. And how do they feel about that when they, you know, when you go into a shelter and you start talking to people and say, hey, by the way, we're going to sell this and you're going to make money, that, that has to be so empowering for them. Certainly. The, I think the biggest part is the dignity. Of, so my, I used to do casework and so many of my clients said, you know, people always define me by the negative. Of, you don't have housing or you're in a wheelchair or whatever it might be. And instead, we flip that on its head and define people by the positive. Of, you are so talented, you created this piece of art. And it's been amazing to see that domino effect of the confidence boost. And when you talk about the dignity, I mean, and you think about what the Catholic Church teaches on the dignity of the human person and the whole life teaching, I mean, it's just such a beautiful witness what you're doing. Tell me a little bit about your faith and how that has shaped your career now. Certainly. So I grew up Catholic, um, went to Catholic elementary school. And so faith has always been, you know, really central to my life. Um, growing up, I would always every night pray for all the people who are sick, who didn't have that family and support network around them. And I'd always pray for them. And how do you, and, how do you think this has changed some of the people that you've met? Like by, by you coming in and offering this opportunity, how has this changed uh, things for them? It's been amazing. Um, some artists have gained housing, um, certainly not just due to us, but due to a whole support network around them. Artists with disabilities have, you know, just seen a, a reason to wake up every day and seen value in their own lives. So it's been pretty transformational for many of our artists. I was looking on your website and I, I looked at the artwork of Andrew Weatherly. Can you tell me a little bit about him? Do I have his name correct? Yeah, yeah, Andrew's incredibly talented. So he has Down syndrome and creates beautiful, bright, colorful works. Um, he sold all over the country and he's really proud to now actually work at Target as well. Um, so we're super proud of him, not only as an artist, but also um, the fact that he entered the employment, uh, the workforce. And so what is your, you know, what's your long-term goal? Obviously, you're selling to, to homeowners, to corporations. I mean, people are really, you know, starting to pay attention to, to this incredible um, business and really how you've helped other people. You know, what are you hoping to do 10 years from now? Yeah, so originally we started just with 4,000 of savings in Boston four years ago. We've since expanded to 20 states across the country. We're super excited about. So 10 years from now, I hope to be in every state and to really be the go-to art source, um, mostly for corporations, but also homeowners as well. And what do you want people to know about some of the clients that you work with, the artists that you work with? Because, you know, when, when you talk about like the homeless population, uh, you talk about people with disabilities, unfortunately, and we know this is reality in the world, people will dismiss them. And you talked about that dignity before. Um, and they're not treated um, in that, that special way that, that you're treating them and, and they, that they should be treated. How do you want this to change how we view others in society? Um, I'd like this to change things by choosing to define people by their talents rather than their circumstance um, and really just going to everything with that perspective of, well, sure, no one's perfect, but what are their great qualities and how can I highlight those? And where can people learn more about uh, what you do? 
um, www.artlifting.com. So it's like art and uplifting. Okay, and, and it is very uplifting, and it's a beautiful, not only business, but it's a ministry and a witness, and I, I really appreciate you doing all that you're doing and joining us today on The Gist. Thank you.